how's it going? So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, get faceted unique values, what's the purpose, and how to use them very, very quickly. It's a very, very simple concept. So first of all, if it's not working for you, you need to add it as hooks. Right? So once you add them to table instance as hooks, then you can map them. So to get to them, you do your table instance, get all columns, you map, uh, you get individual column, and then you get uh, column, get faceted unique values. So this will give you a map like this. So you see this is every column, and we have mapping. So this is IDs, this is first name, and blah, 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 etc. So the question is, why do you need it? So th the reason why you need it is because when you use let's say we have first name and we use some kind of accessor function you see so accessor in here we're using accessor function to so if the name is tommy or delila we are going to display my man so it's going to return my man so original value in row first name is Tommy, but unique faceted value is my man. Do you understand? So, uh, unique faceted value basically displays what's in the table. Um, it gives you access to what's in the table. Because, look at it from perspective of user. He sees, this is Tommy originally. Right, so if you use original values to try to filter by my man, you're not gonna find anything because it's filtering and it's trying to find Tommy. Like, not not you trying to find, but my man does not exist in the original data set. Right, so we need to when the user filters, we need to make sure that he's filtering the data set that is being displayed in the table rather than original data set, right? So that's why you need faceted unique values. So when you're building any type of filter, you need to use get faceted um, unique values rather than um, anything else. Otherwise, you're going to run into the problem of um, he's trying to filter by my man, but it's not being filtered because there is no my man in the original data set. Does that make, se make sense? Uh, okay, so that's kind of that's kind of the purpose of the that's the whole purpose of this thing existing. Okay, so how do we actually get an array out of this thing here? So when you trigger it, you're gonna get a map. We first need to get keys out of the map. To get keys, we just do this, that, keys, like this. So now we're going to get keys. So now this will give us um, kind of like, sort of like a map iterator with keys in it, right? So now we need to basically construct an array. You probably guessed it. It's going to be array from array from like so and then that's it and then it's done so you can see that now now you have the um, array of the entire table basically so now if you want to create some kind of filter like a drop down or out of fill or selection that's going to be your values here. You don't need to use uh, original because if you use original, it's going to confuse the user. If that makes sense. And that's about it. Okay, so take care. Have a good day.